Good morning. It is 4.30 in the morning, Saturday morning here in Ajungan. Got our luggage ready. We're getting ready to head back to uh, Manila. Waiting on Dave, and here he is. Well, we're here at the airport. It is quarter till six Saturday morning. We're at the uh, Ajungan airport. We kind of hated to leave because we only spent, what, four days here. And, man, I'd love to spend like two weeks in a Jungon, but maybe next time, but we're still on kind of a whirlwind tour because the next stop, we're gonna go back to Manila, hang out in Fernandina, and then we're gonna go to uh, Bolinao, which is close to Lingayen Bay, and uh, we'll keep you updated. Dad pointed out this uh, threatened Philippine wildlife. It's a uh, Kalasisi. It's the hanging parrot. And it hangs upside down. Yeah. Habit of roosting upside down feeds on wild see. It remains one of the most trafficked bird species in the country. And Dad said when he was a kid, they used to shoot those things with slingshot. So he. Uh, was threatening the Philippine wildlife. Yeah. It's another one. It's a heavily patronized in the pet trade due to its ability to mimic human voice and other sounds. There's people arriving from Manila here to Romblon, and once they get the plane all cleaned up and emptied, then we'll be taking this plane back to Manila. Here's something I, just, I was wanting to share with you, what the kid did. And we're still at the airport, we're getting ready to board here in a little bit, but uh, check this out. They still have their Christmas decorations up. The archery's still up at home, but look at that. They extend uh, Christmas time here in the Philippines, I guess. Island time. Now the sun's peaked out and we're getting ready to board the plane. Bye bye, Rome Rome. We'll miss you and we hope to be back soon. We're on a little, uh, little lag from uh, maybe three hours of sleep last night. Here we go. Pull the strap and in an outward motion to tighten the chest. This cabin is. back in Manila. We're at Terminal 4. This is a domestic terminal. Feeling tired. We've been running and running and flying. There it is. Yeah. Well, me and uh, Yasmin are walking around. I think this place is called the Kubao Expo. Bunch of cool different shops here. So of course, this caught my eye. Records. Look at that. Bunch of comic books. This is John's Antique Shop. Let's check this out. Uh-oh, I'm breaking the rules. But look at all this. It's kind of cool. A 
old TVs. There's a lot of these old photographs in here. Budweiser. There's a Filipino Mario Lopez. <laughs> this is cool. Look at this. Oh, Rick Springfield. Oh, an old Game Boy. I've got one of those still. It was Patrick's. Bunch of cassettes. Look how cool. Old cameras. Look at these little records. Alright, say. Got some comic books. Look, the old Paul McCartney Beetle base right next to the uh, Beetle picture. This is kind of like sensory overload. So much cool stuff to look at. Oh, here's. We're in John's antique shop. And this must be John. <laughs> Hi, John. I like your shop. So this area is called the Kubal Expo. Kubal Expo yes. So that, this is where John's shop is. And Kubal is like a part of Quezon City, of City, which is a part of Manila. Yeah, yes. Dad grew up here in Kubal, over on 12th Avenue. Look at all these things. Old cell phones. That's really cool. This is what Michelle probably wouldn't want me taking home. <laughs> oh. Steve Austin. John, how long have you had the shop? Since 1989. My oh grandfather my started this business. So oh. I take it over it. I'm the third generation. <laughs> when did he start it? 1989. 1989. That's so cool. Oh, look at that, a Marshall. Okay, I'm flipping this back over because I need to look at some more things in here, but, uh, Thanks, John, for letting us come in here and check out your shop. This is really cool. Remember, Kubal Expo, and you'll see John's antique shop. So far, we've seen a couple antique shops and a bunch of restaurants. Oh, La Pasta Italiana. This is really cool. Look at this. All these cool shops. Restaurants. There's a brewery we're gonna wind back around to because I want to check out uh, what the local brew is. See, Art Bar Cafe. This is cool. Best of luck. Uh oh. Uh oh vinyl store. I'm going to have to check this out, Yasmin. It's a vinyl shop. Let's go in here and see what's happening. Look at that. You know I love my records. I'm going in. It seems like every shop we've gone into has the no recording and no photography. Uh, yeah, except for John's antique shop. Tartan Island. We're going to head back around and check out some of the shops on the right hand side. And I think that brewery is on this side too. So we can take a taste of that. Burger shop. There's a lot of people hanging out. Bad habits.
city. Got these big buildings. And let's see. Look at this. This is where we're heading. Ooh, let's go in here. Support your local brewery. Let me go in here and try one. I got the, uh, you got me the uh, dark uh, side the dark of the side. moon quarter. And then Yasmin has the Lazy Lady Hazy IPA. Take a sip of it. Oh, man. Cheers. Cubell Expo DRWY turns left and it's becomes fruity. Stanford. Very fruity. It's I like fruity. It. I like it. 6% on the uh, IPA, the hazy, and then 7% on the uh, quarter. How long have you been making beer? Um, it's about two years, I guess. Two years? What got you into doing that? Uh, I don't know, just from drinking a lot. From drinking a lot? <laughs> Get tired. Of, good, like, oh, why don't I just make my own beer? Now, what's the top thing? Oh, uh, sometimes we have some guest tap from other breweries, so the price is a little higher. You made this porter? Yes, yes. Nice. Let me get a porter and uh, an IPA. Uh, would you like a glass or a pint? Um, you know, I'll take a pint of the porter. Looky there, looky there. Hmm. Gotta switch it over. That's really good. Really good. I don't normally drink quarters, but that's really good. I'm gonna have Aaron explain uh, what what he does here, the equipment for. So, all right. So, uh, let's start here. Uh, this is called the HLT, the hot liquor tank. Uh huh. So it's primary use, or what I use it for is the hot water. Uh huh. Hot water in. Uh, this is called a mash tun over here. Uh huh. So that's where you put the grains, where you get the sugar, and uh, that's the cut. So these are fermenters. So that's where you add the yeast. So uh -huh. that's when it turns into beer. You let the yeast do their work. And remember folks, <laughs> we love craft beer. Let's get uh, Aaron's shirt right there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we love craft beer. What's the front so we can get the name? Oh yeah. I was talking about how cool this whole place, Kubal Expo is with Yasmin. And we've been having a cool conversation with Aaron about music and what do you think about this place? It's, it, it's like a uh, maybe I could say it's like a Filipino Highlands in Louisville. It's real unique. Uh, a bunch of different little shops, a bunch of different little restaurants and of course we've got this local brewery. Yasmin and I were on the quest to find Greek food or something to eat, and we landed here with a <laughs> porter and a hazy IPA. So, and there you go. Yeah. <laughs> Here's Peter here at the uh, Ubao Brewery. Um, and what do you do here now? Serving beers. <laughs> and you're learning how to make beer? Yeah. And I'm your assistant brewer. And your teacher is? A. A. Ron. <laughs> We're gonna have uh, one last round and then we gotta head back to the hotel and we're gonna try to figure out what the plan is for tomorrow. Um, Aaron brought up a great idea that we could take a grab over to Intramuros, which is really cool because it is, I mean, the history of that place is super cool. Can I get a glass of the blondie? 
and then we're gonna head back to hotel. We've been up a long time, <laughs> and we haven't uh, really eaten. I took a nap. Yeah. I took a 20 minute nap. We're getting ready to split out of the Kubal Expo, and we've had a great time. This is really a, an awesome find here in Kubal. So, we're gonna finish these, and then we're gonna head back to the room. We'll see y'all in a little bit. All right, it's a uh, Kubal Expo, and we are gonna go head back to the room, and we've got some adventures ready for y'all for tomorrow. But I tell you what, tonight was super cool, meeting the guys from the Kubal Brewery and uh, visiting some of the shops here. If you all come to uh, Quezon City, Manila, definitely check out the uh, Kubal Expo, right? Yes. <laughs>